Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So man, I really need to get after uh, ripping into some Masterverse boxes. And uh, so I need to go ahead and continue that. Let's do it. Today we're gonna do Revolution Skeletor. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great toy videos, 80s, 90s, nostalgic videos, and things of that nature. Yeah, here we go. We got another Skeletor. I'm behind on a couple Skeletors. I uh, still never opened the what the the second Revelation Skeletor, like the Apprentice Skeletor, I think he is. And uh, then I never even opened those uh, CGI Netflix, uh, you know, animated Skeletor, He-Man and Skeletor. So I think this is like, how many Skeletors now? This one's way different though. The Skeletech, I guess he is or whatever. I don't know if it actually says that on the bio. So we'll check him out. But uh, what I was getting at is uh, there's an awful lot of He-Mans and Skeletors in the Masterverse line. I know that's how it usually goes with Motu, but I think this makes like eight Skeletors already. I'll double check that, but uh, anyways. I love the character Skeletor. I love opening Skeletors, but uh, man, <laughs> we get a lot of uh, uh, the same figure over and over again. Anyways, let's take a look at this toy. All right, here we go. Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, the Revolution. Now, this is the first Revolution figure I've opened. Um, I have the other one. Uh, what is it? The uh, Sorceress Tila. Um, so that'll be the last one from this wave. And then I got to go back and catch up on some of those other waves. I always say that, <laughs> but man, once you get behind it, it gets hard unless you make a video every day or something. But uh, anyways, yeah, first one from Revolution, another version of Skeletor. It just says Skeletor, but I think he's, I think maybe I've heard some the term Skeletech somewhere. So, so there's some side profile art of the Skeletech Skeletor. Cause this is Skeletor after he was infected by Motherboard, right? So on the back we got the cool poses of the figure. I'm gonna go ahead and read the bio since this one's, I haven't, you know, I, actually Revolution didn't even come out yet, right? So we don't really know how the story's gonna go yet. So Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. After shockingly teaming up with He-Man to save Eternia, Skeletor returns to Snake Mountain to reclaim his throne. However, the cult of Motherboard have transformed him into a cybernetic slave. All right. Well, looks pretty cool. Looks a little different. Uh, probably not going to end up being my absolute favorite version of Skeletor. But uh, anyways, at the very least, I'm interested to see how the figure looks as far as stylization and see if they're moved away from the skinny looking uh, revolution, uh, revelation figures. So we'll see. Anyways, let's get Revolution Skeletor out and see what he's all about. All right, here we go. Revolution Skeletor, or I'm going to call him Skeletech, out of the out of the package. And man, what a very interesting, unique figure. Uh, I mean, you can sort of tell he's Skeletor, of course, because of the hooded uh, head, um, skull head. But uh, boy, everything else going on with him is a lot different than what we're used to. Look at his mechanical terminator like feet uh then he's got that soft goods soft rubbery plastic kind of cloak but that's different that's definitely a different look so he's got uh one alternate hand is what he came with he only came with two accessories an alternate hand and a little crown everything else is attached um so he has a fist hand if you want that which makes sense because he doesn't have any really thing anything to hold um but uh, I like the beefiness, the musculature, the proportions look good. Uh, that's at least a, a plus. Uh, the farther the away they go from that skinny little uh, stick figure stylization of uh, like Re Revelation. Uh, and then he's got a very interesting arm here. It looks like it's just one singular piece. I don't know if it's bendy. I'm not going to try it, but it looks like his Havoc Staff has been has been fused with his arm and the havoc staff head does have some articulation so that's kind of neat what a wicked figure i think i i actually like it it's pretty cool is it worthy of a, a whole slot in the masterverse line i'm not entirely sure but uh it's cool okay so yeah he comes with the crown 
So again, since we don't know what's going on with the story, um, but it sits around, goes around his head there. So there's the crown look. It's interesting. I imagine there's just so many other figures we could get instead. That's just my only my only thoughts. Hopefully, you know, it's not a big deal so long as we just continue to get a bunch of awesome figures. But you know, you got to take think about it. This take up a slot, right? So I don't know. What do you guys think about this revelation and revolution? I think the figures are all right, but I definitely don't like them enough to take up multiple slots of the same figure. Like we got two two revelation mermans we got like now three different revelation revolution skeletors we got two different revelation man at arms uh i think that's a little bit overdoing it anyways i'm not trying to be negative or complain but uh you know i like masterverse but it's definitely not without it's it's definitely critique worthy i think <laughs> but this is definitely a very interesting figure a very unique and interesting version of Skeletor. I love opening Skeletors. This is the one of the weirdest ones I've opened though. Uh, that and Skele God is another one that's kind of kind of out there but definitely looks cool. Now I'm more interested uh, in seeing the cartoon uh, the revolution to see what happens. What do you guys think? Did anybody really love this figure or what do you think? Is it a wasted slot? Let me know. Stands pretty tall. It's kind of blocking out trap jaw and uh, web store there. I'm gonna put them up there for. I need to do some rearranging. I, I know I say that a lot, but let's see how many skeletors we got here, and then let's look at the He-Man's we got too. So now we got this guy one. There's the intergalactic Skeletor two. There's the movie Skeletor three. Uh, Barbarian Skeletor four. Over here, uh, original uh, revela revel Revelation Skeletor 5, 40th Anniversary Skeletor 6, and then, yeah, the ones I haven't opened yet. <laughs> Here's my my death pile to get to do pile. There he is, the Apprentice Skeletor 7, and then way down in here somewhere I got some other Skeletor. Yeah. I Man, I gotta get to this backlog. Some of these figures have been here for over a year, well over a year. What is this one? Oh, yeah. All the Princes of Power ones. Oh, yes. CGI Skeletor. I think that makes eight. And then if you wanna count, uh, if you wanna scout, count, count, Skelegod, what is that? Uh, now I've lost count. Eight or nine. <laughs> so then He-Man's, how many we got? So the same, I got the CGI Netflix one over there. That's one. There's this regular one, two. 40th anniversary, three. Barbarian, four. Oh yeah, there was the new attorney of battle armor, He-Man, five. Um, uh, movie He-Man, six. Feels like there's less He-Mans than Skeletors, but I'm probably missing some. Oh wait, no, there's the new Adventures He-Man over here, seven. About the same, <laughs> because uh, we're supposed to be getting another, we're actually getting another, uh, uh, we're getting a Revolution Battle Armor He-Man too. I, I know that, that one was spoiled. So like eight or nine He-Mans and Skeletors if you count. Also, because keep in mind there was Savage He-Man. <laughs> How many He-Mans and Skeletors will we get for Masterverse? Let me know your estimates. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed checking out Skeletech. Revolution Skeletor, whatever you want to call him. Definitely not a necessity figure, but, you know, he's fine, I guess, for uh, completing that Masterverse collection. 
So hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one.